Putin won a landslide re-election victory in March, extending his grip over Russia for six more years until 2024, making him the longest-lasting leader since Soviet dictator Joseph Stalin, who ruled for nearly 30 years. Navalny who was barred from running in the election against Putin on what he says was a false pretext, was detained soon after showing up on Moscow central Pushkinskaya Square where young people chanted, Russia without Putin, and, down with the Tsar. Footage of the detention posted online showed five policemen carting him off to a waiting van by his arms and legs. Navalny, who has been detained and jailed for organizing similar protests in the past, had managed to briefly address several thousand people beforehand, saying he was glad people had shown up. Pavel Kuznetsov, a 72-year-old pensioner wearing a t-shirt depicting Putin wearing a crown with a line through it, said he and others had turned up in Moscow to protest against what he said was an election designed to keep a dictator in power. We've come out here to demonstrate against the puppet elections, he said. OVD Info a human rights organization that monitors detentions, said it had received reports of police detaining over 350 people across the country. Protests took place in the Far East and Siberia as well. Putin, 65, has been in power, either as president or prime minister, since 2000. Protests illegal The authorities regard most of the protests as illegal, arguing that their time and place was not agreed with them beforehand. Putin has dismissed Navalny, who was barred from running in the presidential election, on what he said was a trumped-up pretext, as a troublemaker bent on sowing chaos on behalf of Washington. Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev, a close Putin ally, has called Navalny a political charlatan. Putin is due to be inaugurated on Monday in a Kremlin ceremony heavy on pomp and circumstance. With almost 77% of the vote and more than 56 million votes, his March election win was his biggest ever and the largest by any post-Soviet Russian leader, something he and his allies say gave him an unequivocal mandate to govern. However, European observers said there had been no real choice in the election, and complained of unfair pressure on critical voices. Critics like Navalny accuse Putin of overseeing a corrupt authoritarian system and of illegally annexing Ukraine's Crimea in 2014, a move that isolated Russia internationally.